Hey everybody, welcome back to our show this week. We're actually just uh, here at Quick Trip filling up our brand new 208 Warrior with the Mercury Verado on it. I'm pretty excited. We're heading up to Chippewa County today. And uh, you know what? We've never fished the Holcomb Flowage. So we're heading up there. We're going to hook up with one of the guides up there, Tom. And he is on a great panfish bite plus some walleye. So hang on to your hineys. Let's see how it goes. Hey, how's it going? Not too bad. Sorry to run him behind. Oh, Holy fine. man. Nice to meet you. Same here. Usually somebody that has a bait shop typically does not get a ton of time to go fishing because yeah. you're always in there. So what time do you guys open up at? So that was when I opened this shop, I promised two things to people because this was the two complaints for the area was one, that I would be open early. What's so early? 6 a.m. That's early. That's what I'm doing right now. Okay. Um, and then the other thing was that I wouldn't run out of bait. Yeah, let's go get some bait and let's go fishing. Oh, nice. I like it. Thank you. Yeah, this used to be a bank. Really? Actually, yeah. First of all, hey, how's it going? Hi, how are you? Where's the safe? I don't know. Hey Tom, we just got out here on the floor. What are we going to be using today? Okay, so I'm going to try something new that I haven't used yet, but I've heard a lot of people are liking on this lake and in this area. Uh, it's called the Bimbo Skunk Lure. Huh? I'm, yes. I have yes. a skunk, you know it, right? <laughs> and the, but I don't have a bimbo. No, no. The Bimbo Skunk Lure. I had a few guys stop into the shop and ask me about it. Uh, so I, I called the guy up that makes them and got a few in and I'm going to use it for the first time today. and. Hopefully it works. They tell me it works out here, so. Well, you can't just let everybody hang in here, Tom. Let's show them what a bimbo skunk lure oh, looks like. Well, I got one right here. This is the fluorescent orange one here. It's, it's kind of a hair jig here. It's a light hair jig. A few different ones. Their, their main one that they make is uh, black with a pink stripe on the back right there with a pink head. So I put this, this orange and chartreuse one on and I got a few other ones with me and we'll see if it works. Fish. Good fish. I'll tell you what, everybody, here we go. Starting the trip off. Boy, it feels like a good fish. I'll tell you, Tom, this is a good fish, man. Oh, yeah, it's a nice walleye. Hey, I thought we were fishing crappies, man. Oh, oh hey. Holcomb, here we are. That's a nice fish right there. Yeah. I thought you said they're all peanut walleyes in here. No. Oh, that's right. That was Tom that said that. <laughs> hey, Tom, you've never even fished on this body of water. How would you know that there's not nice walleyes in here? Boy, I'll tell you what, Thomas, right away, you become a camera guy, you become a fishing guy, you become a producer. Really? I mean, come on now. Hey, Tom, let's talk about what are the regulations on this flowage here. So on the Holcomb flowage, for crappie, the day limit is 25. Yep. For walleye, it's three, but between 14 to 18 inches, you can't keep. Okay, yep. So anything under, anything over? Anything, uh, no, only one over 18. One over one 18. One over 18, okay. um, under. And two under. Yes. Two yep. under 14. Exactly. Yep. A little slow so far, okay. but yep. Hi, Tom. How's it going? Good, how are you? Not too bad. Jackie, Larry Smith. Great to see you. Great to see you. This is Thomas. Hey, Thomas. Hi. How are you? Built for fishermen, built by fishermen. Um, really, that says it all. It's the family here. It's, it's not a big, big conglomerate. It's a family. They treat you, you feel like you're in a family, you know. When you put those two together, an amazing product and amazing people, it's just the type of company you want to be involved with. Not only because of just the great boats, but because of the camaraderie that the Warrior family has. The customer service is amazing. Uh, they never leave you hanging. So come join the Warrior family. We actually got off the water before our Leroy lunchtime, so we're back at the office here, 
and we're gonna cook our lunch here. And today what we've got is the Sweet Buck and Bite Brats, which are absolutely awesome. It's one of their top sellers. And we've got the Cheesy Wieners, which is another great seller. Got the green egg all fired up here, and it is gonna be Leroy lunchtime soon. Hey everybody, they are ready to rock and roll. Man, they look absolutely delicious. One of the cheesy wieners and the buck and bite. I'll tell you what, if that isn't a great Leroy lunchtime, I don't know what is. There. Yeah, hey, hey. Up in my other line. Uh oh, Tom. Looks like you got a little tangle there, huh? Yep, a little bit. But you got right underneath the dock. Tom, it, we should have picked Jackie up a long time I ago. I guess so. We probably have a boat full of fish already. Well, all of a sudden, I just saw the bobber go sideways under the dock. And right. I was like, <laughs> Good deal. Hey, Jackie, let's, uh, let's introduce you to everybody. Yeah. Hey, so we've got Jackie from the tourism, right? Yes. Chamber of Commerce, yes. right? And Jackie, if anybody knows Chippewa County and all the great things that are going on here, it would definitely be you. You know, there's so much to, to do here and to play here, and depending on what you're looking for, I'm sure we've got it. Let's talk about a few of the really, the highlight things that you would consider, like the first things you think about when you think about Chippewa County. Uh, outdoor rec, for sure, is the first and foremost. I mean, we have 449 lakes, uh, waterways, um, just about 80 miles of, uh, of stream trail systems. Okay. Um, the the trout stream uh, class A is amazing around here. I think there's around 24 miles. I didn't know of a that. Strip That's of that interesting. Far. Yep. Um, and you know, obviously, then it's kind of the go by water, go by land. How do you want to do it? Um, with the water, of course, silent sports, the kayak, canoe, um, even tubing down the Chippewa River. Uh, we've it's got to be beautiful. Oh, it's it's absolutely beautiful, and it's fun too, right? You've got outfitters that will come and pick you up and drop you off, okay. and you can do your thing. Um, um, and then, of course, you know we do have some that have pontoon rentals and speed rentals, um, trying to again package it for a stay for the weekend, so you're not worrying about everything. Just worry about getting here, right? Taking hey, the time. You know something else, Jackie, that's really become extremely popular is the, the UTV, ATV oh, yes. things, along with the snowmobiling. Yep. Let's kind of talk about the trail system that, that Chippewa County has. Yeah, the, so the one thing to note, uh, we get this question a lot, are, are UTVs allowed on the ATV trails? Yes, they are. Um, easy parking, they've got um, ni nice wide parking so you can get your trailers in and out very easily. Um, but then there's also throughout the county some, some stops that you could you could stay at some of the like lodging and the resorts up here in Holcomb. Plenty of parking for getting your trailer in and out as well. Okay. Yeah. Now let's talk about like one of the things that's real important to me: restaurants, ha. food. Ha. Food. What are you looking for? Well, you know, and that's kind of I guess you know what I'm not real picky, but I also like variety. And I was talking to Tom before, and Tom was starting to talk about some of the restaurants. And it definitely sounded like there was a lot of options. Yeah, and obviously, again, depending on the palate that you're looking for. So you can find a fish fry you will find everywhere. And you would be hard-pressed to find one that you don't like. Okay. Um, pair that with a brandy old-fashioned, whether it's a sweet or sour, and Ooh. you're taken care of, my friend. <laughs> so you're, not gonna, you're definitely not going to get bored when you come to Chippewa County, folks. No, I can sir. tell you that. No, sir. Hey, Jackie, let's show everybody how the fishing is here now. Let's get do that it. fishing pole. All right, let's go. I'll tell you what, you guys. Ooh, this feels a little, that that's a nicer gill. You know, right oh. in front of that channel right there too. Now you gotta like that. That is definitely a nice gill right there. And I'm kind of just everybody else is fishing with bobbers, pitching back and forth. We've got mini mites on. We've got uh, minnows on. We've got some plastics. But I'm just doing a weedless jig with a piece of worm on. Back in there. Are they? Yeah. Just a little bit, about a foot. And oh, go game on. Oh, that's a good I'll fish. say this one's a little bit nicer. Oh, wow. Oh, that is a pink. Oh, jeez. Don't, don't lose her. Don't lose her, man. Oh, come on, buddy. Nice job. Nice job. 
Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh. look at that one. Boy, oh, oh, that that is a nice gill. I love the colors too. Oh, right away. Nice. Oh. Cast it in just a little bit farther, and that bait just went right down to the bottom and right away. Bills are stacked in there. There's no doubt they're staging, getting ready for spawning, because you can feel the spawn still in them and see how fat they are. Yeah, I love the colors on them, too. I'm just basically using a weedless jig with a, just a little piece of crawler on there and just kind of sliding it right in there. Grabbed it. Did you see how fast that one grabbed it? Oh, that might be one of the biggest ones so far. Jackie, talk to me. Talk to me. Now she's good color. She's good color, right? I thought you were after boys before. I was. <laughs> That's a good one. What the question is that I want to know, like when you're fishing with guys, they're like, I want to catch one of them big girls. And when you're fishing with a, a lady, it's like, oh, I want the boys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on, boys. <laughs> right? That's a good one. Yeah, that is a good one. That's, this, is, this is why you come to Chippewa County. Yeah. This will be on this, that side. And, oh, uh, you're, okay. Why are you down? Yeah, you got something Oh, there you there. go. Yep. Jackie. That's a good that's fish, too. Oh, you. what do you got there? That's, hang on. What is that? Oh, bass. A little small her, one. Got it. <laughs> Come here. There you go. Right. <laughs> no. That was fun. Oh jeez, that's funny. All right, nice job, girl. Nice job. Tom. Oh, the first crappie of the Ooh, day. Ooh, let's see that. Yeah. It's a crappie. It's pretty. Yeah, it is. Here we go. Just moved to a new spot here. Feels like a good one, Jackie. Oh, that is a nice gill right there. I love loving that. Look at the size of that one. I love the colors on it. The old Zupke hands. What are you laughing at, Thomas? Can't even tie my jig anymore. My hands are so slimed up. Here we go. I don't know what I got now. This is a tap, tap, tapper. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, another gill. Now, we're kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Now, here's what's interesting. We're in a lot deeper water, probably right around 12 to 16 feet. Look at the difference in the colors in that fish, you know. A lot lighter. That's not as dark. And the fish we were catching before, that we were really on them. We're definitely, you know, in anywhere from six to a foot of water, and uh, they were definitely really dark. Had a good color to them. We'll let this guy go. All right. He's on there. Come on. Nice. Oh, that's a cool part too about up here. I cannot get over the amount of structure that you have along these shorelines. You know. Right. I can't believe you did that to Jackie. I said, Jackie, cast in between them two trees. No, right away, Tom. Big brute. Yup. Snipes there it. There we go. Tom sounds a lot like Jack. <laughs> <laughs> right. Nice. Good boy. Nice job. Boy, that fish, you threw that in there. That's a good, that's a good one for sure. For sure. You know, it's interesting. We left this spot, went and caught a few down, down a little ways and came back and now it's game on again. You definitely got to hold that up. You know, I did not really think that, uh, you know, this lake was good for gills. You were saying at the shop, you don't get a lot of gills, but they're big. And we've caught quite a few gills and there's no doubt most of them have been really big ones. 
Hey everybody, what an awesome time we had up in Chippewa County. We want to thank Jackie and our good friend Tom for the awesome experience we had. Hey, if you guys are check, want to check out a new destination, definitely check out Chippewa County. There are so many great things to do there. I think it'll be a place that you'll definitely go back to. Hey, now we're going to shift gears a little bit and we're going to actually head over to Denmark. Our good friends over at Wings Over Wisconsin, they've got a kids fishing event going on. And you know what? There's no doubt that everybody at Wings Over Wisconsin truly believes in getting more kids involved in the outdoors. So check this out. We are uh, Wings Over Wisconsin Denmark Chapter out here at our fishing ponds. Today we have the uh, Michicot 6th grade, tomorrow the Denmark 6th grade, and Saturday open to the public. Uh, when the kids come out, we have four different classes that they go through during the day. One is a fish cleaning class, a fly fishing class, a aquatic and invasive species class, and a pond maintenance class. Um, when they're done with that, we teach them rod and reel safety. We put out a big meal and spread for them and, and then we let them throw hooks all afternoon catching bass, crappie, walleye, sunfish, and perch. So uh, this is our Wings Over Wisconsin Kids Fishing Day. Nope, you can pet him. You can catch him. Okay, we'll put him in that way. We're using this to find invasive species. We're using this to like identify like what the species name is. That way we can help them so they can know no. what to use to get rid of them. Um, and then, is this the first fish you've ever caught? Yeah. I mean, it's really fun to get some cool fish out here. My second catch of the day. Really cool. Never caught a bluegill before. Awesome. No, um, I just hold it up for the camera. As far as fish stocking in our ponds, we uh, usually for the kids event get at least 250 bluegills, probably 250 perch, and uh, this year I got 250 rainbow trout. They're 11 to 11 to 13 inches, and uh, <clears throat> we bring them in and stock the ponds. Uh, try to a week before the kids fishing event, and uh, so that we we always have a lot of fish in the ponds for the fish uh, for the kids to catch just to make it more enjoyable and they, they seem to be catching them and having fun so Hey everybody, what a great week we had this week. We want to thank again our friends over at Wings Over Wisconsin for inviting us to the kids event. You know what? These guys are no doubt truly believe in getting more kids and women involved in the outdoors and you can tell by the things they do. Hey, you want to make sure that you check out their UTV raffle they have going on. This money goes obviously back into Wings and all the great things that they do. So you guys buy a ticket or two. Hey everybody, don't forget this is one of the biggest weekends of the year here. It is Memorial Day weekend. And don't forget, it's not all about just boating, having fun. There is a major reason for it. It is to remember all of our men and women that have died serving for this country. So remember, we are still living in the greatest country in the world. And no doubt, it is a great day to be alive. We'll see you next week. Three things that are on your mind. Right now. Yeah, three things. One, I'm hungry. Okay, you got that one right. Two. Can it stop raining or my hair is going to completely frizz out? Okay, wow. Never I should have known that one too. Yeah. <laughs> Three. 
When Thomas edits this, am I going to look like a fool? Oh. Thomas? Thomas, <laughs> right? Here he comes. Oh, a water moccasin. I haven't seen one of them in a long time. Yes, sir. Do you have a message to deliver? Oh, oh grab him. Oh, grab him. Grab him. Oh, oh he fast. saw me coming for him. Yeah, there. Right? <laughs> why, are you, why are you always laughing at me? Not nice. Sure was making fun of me. Good Not job, nice. Larry. Here. Okay. All right, come here. Okay, right. I left them a bunch no, of minutes. No, right here. I wanted to get them again. <laughs> I love the colors on them. I love the colors on them, too. Yo, I love the colors, too. I love the colors on them. Get them? Tom moved in. Oh, oh you might be hooked. You're, you, you got a fish on, but he's hooked on the lily. Oh, 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 oh. Huh. what happened there? Jackie. He got my hook and the worm. Who tied that? You did. <gasps> Thomas. <laughs> and right. then the hook came off again. Oh, it did? I think, it, I what, think it's Tom. I think it's Tom. Mother oh. of Pearl, can we get out of here? <laughs> She's so Give confused. Apparently, Not good. my hook loves any tree line, lily pad. What was that, man? Uh, down log. It's great. Oh, really? 